I got good morning to you. The birds are chirping. Good morning, folks. It is, hold on. It is 8.31 a.m. And today is Saturday, March 26th. Woo! What does that mean? Okay, so Saturday, March 26th means that tomorrow is your girl's birthday, okay? Your girl is turning 23 tomorrow. The further up I go in my 20s, the more worried I get about how I don't have life figured out. But it's okay. So, I'm so excited to be making this video. I'm gonna be vlogging my birthday weekend. And really it's our birthday weekend because me and Rico have the same birthday. But whatever, we're gonna save my birthday weekend. We have our friend here in El Paso that we gonna go out with tonight. We gonna bring our birthday in at midnight. Yada, yada, yada. Bada boom, bada bing, bang, bang, bang. We gonna do all the things, okay? I'm trying to figure out if I'm about to get a cake because tomorrow, tomorrow on our actual birthday, me and Rico, after the turn up tonight, we doing the turn up tonight, and then tomorrow, me and Rico are gonna go on a picnic together. Uh, me and Rico have never been on a picnic together, and I told him it was one of my things that I wanted to do. You know, I thought it would be a cute little date or whatever. So he bought us a picnic basket on Amazon and we have a picnic let me just show you what it looked like a picnic basket and a picnic blanket let me show y'all what it looked like ta-da isn't this the cutest thing so this is the blanket I hope that it's big enough to like have both of us on it because it don't look that big but this is the blanket and then this is oh, oh, this is the basket so hold on let me open it and show y'all what's in here It's a picnic basket for two, so it has two plates, two silverwares, two um, mimosa glasses, it has a corkscrew in here for wine. You know, it's, it's set. It's very cute. I love it. So we're going to go to this garden here in El Paso, and we're going to set it up. We're going to have our food and stuff. We're probably going to do mimosas instead of wine. And we're just going to have a nice picnic for our birthday together after the turn up tonight. So, yeah, that's that. Let me put this back. Another reason why I'm so excited, y'all, to be doing this video is because this is going to be the first video where I have my new camera. So, y'all, so y'all know I did my whole video about my creator burnout a few weeks ago. So, I did my video about creator burnout. I was ready. I was ready to get back into it. And then, as soon as I was getting ready to get back into it, my nephew puppy, Levi, broke my camera. My baby boy is huge, and, you know, he don't know how big he is, and that's okay. But, yeah, he broke my camera by accident. I know he didn't mean to do that to his auntie, so it's okay. But to make a long story short, he broke it. So then I was like, well, shoot, you know, I can't make the type of content that I want to make without a good, reliable camera. And I have a super old phone. I have an iPhone X. So, it's an iPhone 10. So... Um, shooting videos, shooting quality content on this phone was not going to work <laughs> at all, y'all. So, I needed a new camera. But, of course, cameras cost cash money. And we had to wait until we had the cash money to buy the camera. Okay? So, now that it's my birthday tomorrow I got paid and everything so the camera was essentially like a birthday gift to myself and now I'm ready to get back into it I'm ready to get back into YouTube and I missed it so much and now that I'm really doing it now I am realizing how much I actually miss doing this so y'all I'm just <laughs> I'm so excited I'm so excited but if you were wondering I am not filming on my new camera right now. Why? Because we have to go get an SD card. We're going to be doing some running around for like pre-birthday turn up things. Like I know I have to get the SD card. I'm also I'm going to go put... Hey, can we relax? Thank you. Hey, 
Ish, it's not that serious. You want to say hi to the camera? Look. You see how it's not that serious? I know. So I also might go get some earrings for my outfit because obviously I have a ponytail and my ears are going to be naked if I don't have on any earrings. That is what's been going on in my life lately, y'all. We got some updates. We got new life, new vlogs, everything coming soon. I'm excited. I'm fresh. I'm ready to go. So with that being said, let's go get this SD card so we can switch to our camera. Okay? Okay. You want to say hi, baby? Ooh, big yawn. Ooh, big yawn. Yes. Yes, my baby. It's my firstborn son, y'all. So first up on our list, you guys, we are going to... You gonna tell me where we going? You just looking. Okay. <laughs> Can I have a tall white chocolate mocha? Hot or iced? Hot with two extra pumps of whatever is in it. Alright, so we're gonna make that um, five pumps. Anything else? Um, yes. And then can I have. What's the breakfast sandwich called that's on the croissant? Uh, I think you're talking about our double smoked bacon. Yeah, yeah, can I have one of those? Double smoke. Anything else? Uh, that'll be all. Cool. Can I get your name? Anaya. Alright, it's gonna be 1126. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, here we go, y'all. I got my son. I got my coffee. Okay, you guys, so I am now coming to you live from my new and improved camera. Y'all, this camera can do so many things. It is shocking me in so many ways. Like, literally, I would say th this camera is definitely a lot smaller than my other camera, but as far as, like, the features of it, oh, yeah, I think it definitely has way more features than the other camera. So, now we got our SD card. Now we is ready to go. <coughs> Ow. Okay, so I got my SD card. I got Rico a shirt. I don't know if he's gonna wear it though. He might just wear something he already got. But I wanted to at least give him something to give him like, you know, a little bit of options. So I got him a shirt and I'm gonna just show y'all what I'm wearing today. So let me go get what I'm wearing and then I can just show y'all. Okay. Okay, let's move the stuff over. So, this is what I got. So, what do I wanna show y'all first? Let me show y'all the outfit first. So, the outfit I have. First of all, let me tell y'all what I was trying to give. So, I was trying to give like sexy, but not like, ooh, she naked. I wasn't trying to give that, but I was trying to give like six feel, but like not, trying to be naked either so that's kind of like what I was going for so this is what I got this came from Windsor 
And typically, let me tell y'all, typically I don't go for shirts like this because a lot of the times the cups are too big for my little bit of boobies. So typically I don't go for shirts like this, but today we did. And what I'm gonna wear with that is, let me zip them up because I dried them on and you know, so now I gotta get them back right. What I'm gonna wear with that is these, okay, these, y'all gonna see when I put it on, these look a lot better. Why is it looking like that? Um, but basically they're leather pants, but these are some of the best leather pants that I have ever seen, y'all. I got these from Windsor and they're the best leather pants that I have ever seen. Typically, I don't like to go for leather pants. One, because I don't feel like they've ever looked good on me. Like they either have the ones that kind of like mimic pants, like they have the button and the zipper, and but they're just leather. Never really been a fan of those because, I don't know, just never really been a fan. And then they have the ones that don't have anything at all. They literally just look like leggings, but they're leather. I don't like the way those look on me. I feel like you have to have more of like a little bit more booty back there. And even though I got a little booty back there, we got a little booty. We ain't got big booty. I feel like to wear them pants, you gotta have big booty. Because if you don't have big booty, it ain't gonna look right. So I've never been a fan of those pants. But baby, these, these hug me in all the right places, okay? And then I feel like the zipper, just a little zip, you know, it does what it needs to do. So the little zipper kind of makes it you know like hug up to you you know and form fit and on top of that they're low-key high-waisted so that make it even better like these is the best leather pants I have ever gotten so it wins it if you watching this baby y'all did y'all thing with these other pants and really y'all did y'all thing with this shirt too this shirt you know it it has like the little clippy thingies so you know when you clip them all together it it like you know does they like bring them all together they bring the girls together and i like that so that's what i'm wearing and then for the shoes so we are going combat for this outfit um i did not want to wear a regular heel because i'm planning on you know, having a good time. Plan on having a good time. And I just didn't want to have to deal with all of that. Deal with all of like wearing the heels and having my feet hurting and I wasn't trying to deal with none of that. So, we got us a nice little combat boot with a nice little chunky heel so we'll be able to walk in them but we still gonna be cute. And also, this is my first pair of combat boots ever. Um, and I like these a lot. I like these a lot. I never bought combat boots because I just never knew what I would wear them with. But I feel like this is like the perfect outfit to wear combat boots with. Like if you don't want to wear like a heel or whatever. So, guess how much this was? these was, y'all. Y'all ain't even gonna believe how much these was. They was 50% off. And then when we went in there, it was a 50% off. The 50% off. So, these shoes was only $16. Okay, $16 for these shoes. Where did I get them from? I got them from Waltz. Kinda reminds me of Aldo, except like a, Aldo gives me like a, like a more luxury feel. Waltz gives me more like a, not cheap because the shoes don't look cheap, they look cute, but it just gives me more of a like affordable type of feel as opposed to Aldo. Your shoes in there are probably gonna be 70, 80, 90, 100 plus. Waltz had the shoes for the low, okay? They had the shoes for $20, $15. And we like that. We like that a lot. So, that's what I'm wearing, y'all. I like my new. Coming to you live from a new camera. Okay, so now's the perfect time for you guys to know that Ooh, to even Chess and I was about to ask y'all. Y'all wanted to go get some TJ. I called y'all. Y'all already went. 
didn't ask me. I was hungry because Ooh. they didn't invite me to go to IHOP with them. And she was out and about running her errands for tonight. And if they didn't want me to come, then they should have just said that. Because I had to invite myself. You know so, what? Did, did, no, technically, no, no, no. she said did no. She, did she tell y'all Chaz cooked all this food last night and they didn't want to hang out with us last night? Oh, yeah, they said no. Say, Help us. Okay, I think that's irrelevant to the conversation. <laughs> what I was saying was they didn't invite me to eat. And you know that if Rico didn't have to get up at 2 o'clock in the morning, we would have came. Damn it. Okay, well, you was out and about. So this family that I thought we had. <laughs> it's still here. It, no, it no longer exists. It's still... It's still here. Don't let her. Don't let her go. No. No. So y'all, our birthday was a success, and still our, birthday. our birthday is a success. Still going on, um, and I'm having to redo this video because I literally did a whole thing, and I was on picture in that video. So, as you can see, I'm still figuring this camera out. So, but we had a fun time last night. Literally, I didn't get any videos. I can get, I can post on here on this video the videos that we took like on Instagram and stuff but as far as like any actual vlogging situation I did not get any of that because we were kind of lit so and I'm still kind of lit right now so we actually slept at our friend's house on your beanbag. Yeah. What's up y'all? Yeah, they just came in and we, we understood they turned up for their birthday. Y'all, Anaya got lit though. Rico got lit too. Anaya got lit. Anaya took a shot last night for the first time in a long time. I so. did take a shot. Y'all know I don't take shots, but I, I will have to, I ain't gonna lie, I can't lie. It wasn't like a straight shot of nothing. It was like some mixed shot that the bartender made. But it was good and it was something, so I give myself a little credit. Yeah. So now we on the way to um. Got our car towed last night, so. Oh my God! Yeah, I didn't even get to that ghetto. <laughs> y'all want us to go get your car first, or y'all trying to eat first? Uh, so what y'all trying to do? We can. I think we can eat first. We can take them to get their car last. Yeah, that my sis car got towed, and I'm so mad. I can really cuss them people out for real, because it wasn't that serious. I feel like. The parking spot wasn't that serious. And Walgreens wasn't even open. Exactly. So why do you care who parking here? It was a private talk. Just sitting out there. He was just sitting out there waiting. My dude told me he said they told the reporters from there. He oh said I was the last one to think. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Get towed. But we saw somebody get stomped out though. Oh my god. That was fun. <laughs> He got knocked out, then he got stomped out. Hey, that was the safest place they had security at. I promise you. Oh, that was the safest security God, ever. it was safe. As I did not feel like nothing was going to pop off in there, I swear. The security was so, like, on go. Yeah, dude, on go. Anytime somebody was looking the wrong way, he was going to come and handle the situation fast. He knocked out. What he knocked out? Two. But it was two security guards. They both knocked out. Or was it the one that knocked out both of them? It was the one that knocked, knocked out, out both, both of them. them. <sighs> yeah. He slept, dude. Other dude was sitting on the bar. I guess I guess he said something. Dude grabbed him up, 
slapped him. Hey. Not the rest of them. Facts. <laughs> but he got stumped out a lot, so I couldn't even see like what was going on. I just saw his leg move. Y'all, y'all, y'all hear about it in the history books? <laughs> <laughs> in the in the El Paso, Cincinnati <laughs> Avenue right. history book. El Paso Times. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was a man. Yeah, that I was, was. I wonder what he said. Right. Like, I wonder what he said. Like I, bro, I was just about to say that. I was tell you, I was about to say that. I swear I was about to say that. It was honestly so discreet too because when Chaz pulled me back, I was like confused. I was like, what's going on? I didn't even know that he had knocked somebody out. I was like right next to it. So like I was just waiting to get my drink and I just happened to look to my left and I see an arm come back and I, I can't even see the body fall, but I just like see legs on the ground. And I was like, damn, <laughs> he got slept. <laughs> and I seen him grab up dude. I said, damn, he got slept. Yeah, the security was not playing, baby. They said they was going to make sure y'all knew not to fuck with them or nobody else in there. But did you see the security escorting that couple? I guess they were a couple. They was arguing. Yeah. I, I, was I don't know if they that. were a couple or not. Or maybe that was... They, they were was, because uh, they were holding hands when they passed by me and Anaya. And then they were like, they like when they got further past us, I was watching it and the dude was getting mad at the girl. He was like, pushing on me like that but they were just trying to she was just trying to get him out because she seemed like she was annoyed he looked like he was lit yeah, yeah that's how most of the folks was in there they were because there was this sketchy ass dude y'all that was like just i don't know he was weird as hell he had on like this red button-up shirt but he kept on like floating around us and like pretending like he was dancing, but it was like obvious that he was like up to no good type shit. So I don't know if he was drunk. Maybe he's a better pickpocketer or whatever he called himself to be when he ain't drunk. But baby, he was giving himself away. Cause you can. Yeah, PJ said he was trying tell. to uh, put his hand in his pocket. Oh yeah. He was trying to pickpocket you. He probably, but you know what? That probably do work on some of them girls in there uh, right, that be that be gone. And they probably, he probably just pretend like he dancing and find the drunkest person and pull their card out or something. Or pull the cash out their pocket. That's probably what he be doing. I respect your hustle, baby, but don't be shimmy. Don't, don't do that over here. Yeah. Because we ain't, we ain't that drunk. We can see. Yeah. I know, I was like, but he was weird. Yeah, he was super weird. And I think he thought that we was... Maybe he thought we was lit, but baby, you more lit than us because we can see that you, your vibe is way off. And you in here just by yourself, roaming around. Right, ain't got nobody in there. Ain't got nobody in there? No, that's weird. So yeah, it was very eventful to say the least. I think it was entertaining to watch somebody get stomped out. I ain't never seen nobody get stomped out before. No. I didn't see fights, but I ain't never seen nobody get stomped out. That was that was the lie. Like, they like went to work with them. Yeah, they they made sure he wasn't gonna get back up. I respect it though. I like that. Damn. What did he say to make them niggas that mad? Right. I know he had to say something bad. I wonder how he feels. I know his face hurt. His head. He got the headache from hell. Probably got a concussion. Yeah, cause he was stomping him out. I don't know where he now, was, was stomping. He, yeah, I was about to say, did he stomp him on his face? I don't know. Cause I, I don't think he did. I don't think he can. Yeah, but it was two of was them. Body. Two of them stomping him out. I only saw one. The other dude was on the other side, helping him. Cause it was two dudes on the floor, and the two security guards were stomping both the dudes out. It was very eventful, y'all. But we're going to get our breakfast from this new place that we ain't never been to before. Y'all ain't never been, right? Yeah. So we're going to see if it's good. Hopefully it is. Hopefully it is. It looked really good. I'm asking if they pancakes crispy. If they ain't crispy, I ain't getting it. I got to have some crisp around my pancakes. 